So now let's go over an example that's just a little bit different. Let's say we have 2.735 all being multiplied by a whole number of 4. So now I'm going to set these up so we can multiply them together. We have 2.735 being multiplied by 4. So now remember the first thing that we have to do, we need to multiply as if the decimals were not even there. So let's just multiply these numbers together as if that decimal did not exist. So we have 4 times 5, which is just 20. Carry the 2. 4 times 3 is 12. Plus 2 is 14. Carry the 1. 4 times 7 is 28. Plus 1 is 29. Carry the 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 2 is 10. So now here in our final answer is when we need to go back to the original problem and count how many numbers are to the right of the decimal. In our first number, 2.735, we have one number to the right, we have two numbers to the right, and we have three numbers to the right of the decimal. And our four is a whole number, which has zero numbers to the right of the decimal. So since we have three total numbers, to the right of our decimal, our final answer also has to have three numbers to the right of our decimal. So I'm going to count our first three numbers, one, two, three. Now I can place my point and notice how we have three numbers in our final answer to the right of the decimal. And you should never have a trailing zero in your final answer. So our final answer is just going to be 10.94. 10.94 is exactly the same as 10.940. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.